and today I want to talk about something that can sometimes sometimes people can have strong ideas about um, and yeah what I've learnt um, yeah. hey Naren here from Positively Sorted today I want to talk about something that can sometimes people can have strong ideas about and that is using a virtual assistant that is local and Australian versus or in your own country versus a Filipino or a other super cheap sort of offshore virtual assistant. Um, yeah, so I know some people can have super strong ideas about, yep, just use like the super cheap, why would you use you pay more? And some people are like, you need to employ people locally and support support your local community. And I actually think there's a time and a place for both. This is based on my I've used both and yeah, so absolutely is a time, <laughs> there's a time and a place for both. So um, local virtual assistants and staff in general obviously have a better knowledge of our language and our culture and the way we work and the way things get done. Um, they've got more local experience and some businesses need that local knowledge of, of locations and um, yeah, what's, what's happening locally. <laughs> um, they're in the same time zone most of the time. Um, sometimes it's, it's hard to say without, without offending some people, but sometimes local people and not necessarily all, but it's just better at taking initiative and project managing, um, using, I hate to say it, but a bit more common sense sometimes. Um, and they're always, always going to be a higher cost. Um, just because we have that higher cost of living. Our most basic um, hourly rate is always going to be more expensive than someone in the Philippines, say. So the benefits of using an offshore virtual assistant is that they, obviously, they're, they're cheaper. They're, they have a lower cost of living than us. Um, they're good at following existing processes if it's something that's repetitive and process driven um, they'll do that no problems at all so if it's something that you've got fleshed out of step by step this is what needs to happen when and it's something that's regular ongoing that um, yeah it's it's awesome for that um, the question about supporting people that work here locally and supporting local people. And people said that to me when I um, hired my Filipino Louise. So, and I call her Filipino Louise because I've had um, my Filipino VA first, her name was Louise. And then when I switched to a local, my first local VA, her name is Louise as well. So it kind of gets complicated, but <laughs> so, but for me, when I was first starting out and needing, needing more hours of support, I couldn't actually afford um, the prices of a local VA for the hours that I wanted. So this allowed me, have, like hiring, hiring someone that was a lot cheaper overseas, allowed me to actually do that and grow and get to the point where I could hire somebody locally. So if I hadn't have been able to do that, I might not have gotten to the point where I was hiring someone locally and then I wasn't supporting anybody. So I think it was a good thing for me and, it, and it, it's a good thing in certain situations. So I got to the point where I needed an extra level of support. Like I, I was having to manage what needed to be done too, too much. So it's that whole like 
she, my Filipino Louise was awesome at the regular, this is what needs to be done when. But as, as my business grew, I had more different varying things that I needed help with and, and it was getting too hard for me to manage. So, but back to <laughs> supporting somebody locally, the way I saw it and the way I see it is people are people no matter where they live. So like we all need to support our families and get by. It doesn't matter what bit of ground you live on to me. Um, so, and my small budget that I had at the time may, could make a huge difference to, to that family in that place because, um, like, yeah, that even though it was a tiny amount to me, it was actually a decent income for, for her. So I saw that as a win-win. <laughs> um, so the other benefits with someone in the Philippines as compared to here on the east coast of Australia um, there was only two hours time difference um, and a lot of the time they're happy to start earlier I think it was earlier for her so that she's starting at nine o'clock when I'm starting um, the English is really great and we communicated via Skype every day so it was it wasn't like there was a huge difference we were sort of always talking and always um, chatting online so communication wasn't a problem and half the time even though they had typhoons and all sorts of stuff a lot of the time her internet was actually faster than mine like the that sort of there's no issues with any of that stuff so and I'm sort of jumping all over the place a little bit but uh, yeah my back to the the main point is <laughs> Using that cheaper option was super beneficial to me at the time when I was just getting started. Um, and what I found was, um, which worked out well for me, was I was I've spoken to a couple of clients along the way, both of the, the two that I'm thinking of, I'm still working with, and they had worked with Filipino VAs and found it all too hard there's too much going backwards and forwards having to explain everything to the nth degree so what i ended up doing at the time was sort of saying i've i've got my filipino va and i'll explain all that for you so you just give me what you want to do i'll be the middleman and and i'll get get it done whether i do it or or my va does it you don't need to worry about how it actually gets done so that was my sort of advantage and, and the advantage of, of a local, um, more highly skilled VA. <laughs> um, so yeah, these days, I've all, all three of my team members and myself are all local and it, it does, it all is a lot easier. So, um, when you can afford it, I totally um, believe that local is better. Even though we cost a little bit more, you kind of get what you pay for. So if you can afford to pay that bit more of an hourly rate, you kind of got to weigh up. Um, sometimes it you're paying a higher hourly rate, but something might get done in an hour, whereas for the cheaper hourly rate it might take a few hours and more of your time going backwards and forwards managing like getting them to fix things that aren't right the first time and all of that stuff so that's my ramble <laughs> on that topic i yeah definitely there is a time and place for both it's just what stage you're at and how yeah weighing up if you need to save money but yeah spend you've got the time to to manage it or if you just need it done and don't need to don't have time to manage it and can afford to to pay for it so um, let me know what you think have you tried offshore VAs um, and what has your experience been or have you worked with just 
local people and how have you found it or are you tossing up between them and I hope this video has maybe given you some insight into my experiences. All right, talk to you soon. Thank you.